Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. So, so far we have seen how to find the cutting length for a uh, master ring. Then we have seen it for a triangular ring. Then we have seen it for a diamond ring. We have seen it even for the circular one. After that, whatever is left out, like a four leg stir up, six leg, those things we'll try to see it here. Okay. Now, for example, let us consider you have a column and where they have given a ring something like this. So, this is a master ring usually what we call. So, this ring you know how to find the cutting length. That is uh, whatever is the size of your column, both the side you remove the cover and uh, minus ha half diameter of the stirrup on both the side. If you do, you'll get the cutting length on this length and this also you know. But what about the inner one, right? So this inner one, how you are supposed to find? This we never learned. So these things I'm going to teach you here, how this has to be done, okay? Now if you ask me practically how it looks, so here is a practical example for that. So here you can see, yeah, somewhere here, see? Here they have given one master ring. This is understood. This is your master ring. In between that, they have shown one more ring, right? So they have shown one more ring. So how you are going to find the cutting length for this? That is what we are trying to do now. Got it, no? Same thing we'll try to do here. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. So how you are going to do? It's very simple. First, we'll try to find out the outer one. This outer whatever I have, no, that will find. Column size is given. I'll do it manually. And also the Excel sheet, I've kept it ready. So first we'll do the green color one. It's very simple. How we will do the green color one? 600. Okay. Minus 40 from the left side. Minus 40 from the right side. Minus diameter of the stirrup. Let us say the stirrup diameter is 8 mm here. So minus 1 times the diameter if you do. Do it manually and tell me what is the answer you're getting. So 600 minus 40 minus 40 and minus 8. Finish. So this is 512 mm. Similarly, this is 300. Okay. This I found. So I'll find, I'll find on this side. So this is 300, again minus 40, minus 40 and minus 8, okay, fine. So 300 minus 80 minus 8, okay. This is 212 mm, 212 mm and if you want to find the total cutting length, so I'll write uh, cutting length, CL. Cutting length will be 2 into, okay, 2 into L plus B, that is 512 plus 212 and plus that hook length is 24 into diameter of the bar. So 24 into D I'll write. So D is 8 mm for us. Okay. Tell me, do it manually and tell me what is the answer you are getting. Same answer I should get in the Excel sheet also. So 2 into 512 plus 212 plus 24 into 8. So I'm getting 1640. 1640 mm. Manually I got it on the calculator. And same thing you can see in the Excel sheet. I got it 1640. That is done. This we already knew. Now explain. Now tell me how you are going to find the red color one. So finding the red color is very simple. What you're supposed to do, take a pen and a paper, write down this step. Step one is column length, whatever is a column length, from there, two sides cover you need to deduct. That is the first step. What is that? Whatever is the length of your column, from both the sides you take out the cover. That is step number one. Step number two, whatever answer you got in step number one, from there you deduct the diameter of the column. This time, diameter of the column from both the sides. Okay. Uh, yeah. Actually, what I should do, I'll tell you. This is minus step number one answer minus uh, die of stirrup die of stirrup okay let me make this die of stirrup okay and minus half column die on both the side yeah what is step number two whatever answer you got from the step number one from there you have to deduct the diameter of the stirrup from both the side okay die of stirrup both side you have to do okay both side both side yeah, let me give this wrap up. Yeah, from both sides and minus half column diameter. Half column diameter means this column, you can see this, this column, this column, this column. Here the diameter is 20 mm. So half from here, half from here you have to do. This is step number two. So when you finish the step number two, what is the answer we have got? We have reached from the center of this stirrup to the center, sorry, center of this reinforcement to the center of this reinforcement we have reached at the end of step number two. Now, step number three is total spacing given between the main bar. That means I need to find this one, isn't it? So in between the two rebar, what is the spacing? This is one spacing. I'll write in this way. This is spacing one. I'll do in this way. Yeah. So this is, this is a spacing one. Okay. One spacing because this in between this, this and this one spacing between this and this, this is another spacing. So I'll call this spacing number two. From this bar to this bar, another spacing. This is spacing number three. And from this bar to this bar, this is another spacing. So spacing number four. So 
स्टेप नंबर फोर स्टेप नंबर या स्टेप नंबर या स्टेप नंबर थ्री टोटल स्पेसिंग गिवन बिटवीन द मेन बार सो हियर वी गॉट वन टू थ्री एंड फोर नाउ स्टेप नंबर फोर इज वट एवर आंसर यू गॉट इन द स्टेप नंबर टू वट एवर आंसर यू गॉट इन द स्टेप नंबर टू दैट हैज टू बी डिवाइडेड बाई द आंसर बाय स्टेप नंबर थ्री ओके दैट इज योर स्टेप नंबर फोर step number 5 is whatever answer you got in step number 4 that you have to multiply by number of spacing for the links to be found that means now i need to find this length isn't it see this will be this is actually very simple just concentrate what i am telling that's it i want to find this length isn't it this is the length what i am supposed to find okay so what i'll do what i'll do i'll find from this diameter to this diameter inside to inside what is the distance see i'll explain you with the help of example later now just try to understand by doing this thing no by doing your step number yeah i'll be getting this center to this center and this center to this center i'll be getting okay so i just need to add this center to center distance this center to center distance that is what it is telling step number 5 will be step number 4 whatever answer you got in the step number 4 in step number 4 we'll get the answer from center of this rebar to the center of this rebar that is what we get in step number 4 in step number 5 whatever answer you get that is center to center you multiply that by number of spacing for the link to be found that means if i want to find this one up to here if i want to reach i need to add this center to this center i want to add this center to this center when i do this i'll be reaching from this center to this center center of this rebar to the center of this rebar but where has my stirrup gone my stirrup has gone i'll take this i'll erase these things yeah but where is my stirrup gone my stirrup has gone from here to here isn't it my stirrup has gone from here to here but my length whatever i found now that is from the center to center that is this center to this center i have found but i need to go here also isn't it i need to go up to here that is this extra part here and this extra part here that is nothing but half diameter of the rebar and half diameter of the rebar i need to add half half is one so i written step number 5 answer plus one bar diameter this is what i am supposed to do if i follow this method i'll be getting this outer to this outer ring and once i get this this also remains the same and this anyhow this length this length and this length is same so you don't have to worry on that side okay i hope that you have understood this concept so with that with this understanding i'll do this manual in front of you and finally i'll get the same answer what we have got here which is 800 Eight 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 triple eight. We have got now. I'll get the same answer. Okay, it's fine. We'll start one by one. I'll do it here. So, what is step number one? Column length minus two times the cover. My column length is six hundred. So, six hundred minus forty from the left side minus forty from the right side. So, this will be how much? Five hundred twenty mm. Agree with me? Good. If you want, I'll write step number one. Yeah, I'll write step one. Okay, good. Finish. Now, come, come to the step number two. What is step number two all about? Step two. Step two. It says step one answer minus dia of the stirrup on both the side minus half column diameter. So what is the step one answer? Five hundred twenty minus what is the diameter of your stirrup? Eight mm. So eight mm I'll deduct from this side. Listen, eight mm I'll deduct from this side. Okay, this eight mm I'll deduct. This eight mm I'll deduct from both side. Minus whatever is the diameter of this rebar. Half diameter I'll deduct from this side. Half diameter from here I'll deduct. Okay, getting my point. So 520 minus diameter of the stirrup is 8 mm from the left side minus 8 mm from the right side minus half column diameter on both the side. So half column is one half column. What is the diameter of this rebar? This yellow color, whatever you can see, it is given here. Main bar is 20 dia. So half of 20 is 10. So half dia is 20 divided by 2 is 10. So 10 on the left side. Minus ten on the right side. You do this. Tell me what is the answer you are getting. So five twenty minus eight minus eight minus ten minus twenty. Four hundred eighty four mm. So whatever answer you got, four eighty four. This answer is nothing but this answer is not. Wait. Whatever answer you got now, this answer is nothing but I got center to center spacing, and this is one of the important step in doing the BBS. Right now, whatever answer I got, no, I got the answer from the center of this rebar. I'll do here. Center of this rebar to the center of this rebar is the answer what I got. Simple, fine. Now whatever answer I got, if I divide it by the spacing, I'll get the answer of 
this rebar inside to this rebar inside i'll get this rebar inside to this rebar inside i'll get this rebar inside to this rebar inside i'll get this rebar to this rebar inside i'll get so whatever answer i got that is 484 i should divide this by number of number of spacing so it's written here step number 3 i'll write here step number 3 is total spacing given between the main bar okay that you need to understand now so the step 3 will be what is the total spacing given you have to count so we will count here come and count tell me how you count see this is a rebar and this is one rebar so in between this we have one spacing this rebar and this rebar we have two spacing this rebar and this rebar this is third spacing this rebar and this rebar four spacing if you still don't understand i'll write it here distance between this two rebar this is spacing number 1 one time okay this is spacing number 2 okay this is spacing number 3 this is spacing number 4 simple so this is what we are supposed to count that is what you do what that is what you mean by total spacing given between the main bar what is the spacing between the main bar how many times we have 1 2 3 4 this answer you should write in step number 4 step number 3 answer is four numbers i'll write four numbers fine now step number 5 step number 4 so step number 4 it says that whatever answer you got in the step number 2 should be divided by step number 3 okay i got step number 2 answer is 484 this i'll divide it by step number 3 step number 3 answer is 4 you divide it by 4 so this is 484 divided by 4 so 121 mm so this 121 mm is what i am supposed this 121 mm is distance between center of this rebar to the this rebar center is 121 center of this rebar to the center of this rebar is 121 center of this rebar to center of this rebar is 121 center of this rebar to center of this rebar is 121 same thing follows here also i did one side This is also one twenty one. 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 Understood the concept? If you understand up to here, your BBS is ready. Finish. You don't have to worry again. Okay. So this is the answer. What I got? Just one twenty one mm. Now your your calculation is very simple. You got the distance from this center to this center, but I need to go from this outer to this outer. What you will do? Center to center, you have got plus half diameter of the rebar. See. This has gone to the center. No, I have to come to this side. I have to come to this side. So this whatever is the diameter of your main bar, I have reached to the center. Half portion is again still left out. So half I'll add from here. Half if I add from here, I'll get this complete length. Very simple. So step number five is step number five is step number four into number of spacing for links to find. So what it is trying to tell us is, if you want to do in that way, I will do in that way only. Yeah. So your step number five will be. step number 5 will be whatever answer i got that is 121 into how many times you have to go how many times means listen what do you mean how many times so i need to i need to reach from this point to this point no this is where i want to find this is where i need to go from here to here i should go so but the answer what we got is from this center to this center fine okay so from this center to this center is one time from this center to this center is two times so whatever answer i got 121 if i multiply it by 2 2 times no from here to here one time if i multiply it by 2 times will i not be reaching to this part center of this part to the this part wait i'll do it in this way if it is confusing if i do this i'll be i'll be reaching to the center of this to the center of this okay that is what you mean by step number 5 so what i'll do 121 into how many times two times and do it so 121 into 2 will be 242 mm finish and last step that is step number 6 step number 6 will be whatever answer you got in step number 5 you have to add one bar diameter okay step number 6 is 242 242 plus one bar dia one bar dia means what is the diameter of this bar this diameter Sorry, this diameter and this diameter is twenty mm. So add twenty mm. Actually, it is twenty divided by two. Twenty divided by two. Ten. Twenty divided by two is ten. So ten ten is twenty. You can do in that way also, or you can do directly add one diameter of the bar, which is twenty mm. Okay, which is twenty mm means here it is given twenty. Suppose in your drawing, if if it was twenty five mm, we would have, we would have taken twenty five. But here twenty is given. Just multiply this by twenty. I mean, just add twenty to that. 
so it will be 262 mm finally we got the length this 262 is nothing but this is what we have got now this is 262 that is the red color this length is 262 finish you got this length 262 again this also will be 262 and you want to find this length no this is very simple how you will find this length this is 300 no this is always same this portion see remember whatever answer you got for the master ring on this side this answer will be similar to this answer but still if you want i'll do it already i've done it see already we have done no 300 300 minus one cover from here minus one cover from here minus one diameter from here half diameter from here. i mean half dia from here half dia which is 212 finish now just do the calculation okay so the cutting length will be 2 into 2 into 262 this is 262 okay this one 262 plus this one this one this one is already given here 212 212 plus 24 into diameter of the bar so diameter is 8 try to do it manually we should get we should get triple 8 as an answer 2 into 262 plus 212 plus 24 into 8 okay uh, we're not getting let me let me do that okay we should get the answer i'm getting 1140 as my answer let me check what mistake we have done okay so 1140 mm is what i'm getting answer okay correct then what is mistake here plus 24 into d uh into 2 this should be the answer anyhow not an issue we have to uh manually is spacing is four <laughs> so one mistake what we did is the this portion plus this one we have to do okay and finally this answer i'll do so cutting length will be plus uh, 2 into sorry 2 into uh, what is the answer what uh, 262 where is 262 yeah 262 plus 212 plus 212 i'll do it manually close the bracket plus 24 into 8 yeah now it's matching no correct see manually also i got 1140 is a cutting length and excel sheet also i got 1140 excel sheet what i have done Cutting length 1640 for the main bar, it's matching. Outer bar center to center distance 484. This step number two, I manually I got 484. In the Excel sheet, already I've done all those things. So directly I got 484. Spacing four. So I written four number, four number I'm getting. Each bar center to center distance is 121. I got the same thing here. Distance to find for stirrup is how much? Two times. This is two, no? Two I've written here. Distance from center to center is 262, 262 I got. And total cutting length, what I did, 262 into 262 plus this one, 212, I've written it manually since I couldn't do it here. But if you want, I can do that here also. I'll do it, not an issue. Because if you link, no, you'll get all the right answer. 300 minus 40 minus 40 minus 8. Bracket close. Yeah, fine. Now it's correct. 1140. Got it, no? So in this way, you can do the cutting length or in this way, you can... What is that? Uh, do the calculation uh, to find the cutting length of the bar. You understood the concept, how it has to be done. If you get a drawing something like this, and if somebody asks you, can you help me to find the cutting length of this? Obviously, you can do. Now, I'll give you one assignment. Not assignment. I'm, of course, uh, assignment. You do it on your own. I'll put this answer on the Excel sheet. That's it. Okay. 230 is the width of my column. 450 is the depth of my column. Directly put it here. Length is 450. Width is 230 okay and uh, then uh, what is the next one next what we require yeah and then your diameter of the bar see this this diameter we want so this diameter is 20 diameter so 20 will write and stirrup is of 8 mm us okay same thing i'll do an input here stirrup is 8 mm main die is also 20 finish you got all the answers your mastering cutting length will be 1200 uh, then you are this thing inner bar this cutting length will be 1000 if you want, I can manually do it in front of you. We'll get the answer. Okay. Uh, what you do is you take it as an assignment. Follow the same thing, whatever I taught you. Try to do it manually. You should get 1000 as your cutting length. 
and 1200 1200 is your mastering okay this is a drawing what you have so this is your mastering this will be your mastering and this will be a, this will be inside ring okay this is your inside ring try to do it you should get the same answer okay if you want i can do it in front of you also let me do that and you also do according to me okay uh, what shall we do i'll quickly do this yeah we can do this uh, first okay i'll quickly do 450 minus 40 minus 40 minus 8 okay so this is 362 362 hmm? then after that it is 230 no 230 minus 40 minus 40 minus 8 sorry minus 8 142 finish so cutting length i'll find 2 into 362 plus 142 plus 24 into 8 so i'm getting 1200 is my cutting length fine i also got 1200 matching now i'll do for the inside ring for the inside ring first what i'll do i'll take uh, 450 minus 40 minus 40 minus 8 minus 8 uh, okay correct no minus 8 minus 8 and then uh, minus 20 so i'll get center to center isn't it yeah 450 minus 40 minus 40 minus 8 minus 8 straight up i'll take and also uh, 20 divided by 2 20 divided by 2 which is minus 20 so i'll get 334 okay so this answer is not changing it should change no 334 is what i'm getting but here it hasn't changed i guess okay well, let me check out why this answer is not changing okay this answer is not changing the reason is manually i've done the input that shouldn't have i shouldn't have done that let me change the excel sheet so it will be uh wait yeah this should be 450 okay fine and i think resting okay see see everywhere this mistake has been done minus 40 you should always link your excel sheets okay remember that don't input the values you link it the moment you link it your calculations will be easy yeah now i should get answer yeah 334 exactly manually also i got 334 here also i got 334 i'll write it here so 334 is my this distance okay that is from center to center this center to this center i got 334 next what i'll do i'll count how many spacing is there so this is you don't count here come and count here this is a drawing no spacing is one two and three three spacing is there okay see listen one two and three so three spacing you mentioned three here four was written you mentioned three the moment you mention three so you have to divide this by three so 334 334 the moment you divide it by three spacing you'll get 111.3 will consider it to be 11.3 only no problem finish yeah after that once you get that next step is you need to find where you have to go so this is 111 okay see from this center okay this center to this center it is 113 it is 111.3 fine so where I need to go, actually from this center to this center already I've reached. Again, this much half portion, this much half portion I'm supposed to go. So spacing is only one. You're getting my point, no? Because you want you want to go only from this portion, that's it. So your answer will be 111.3 plus diameter of one bar you have to do. So diameter of one bar, okay? So if you're not able to understand, you ask me, not an issue. 0 0.3 plus diameter of one main bar, okay? So now you see, now there is one catch here. The catch is, see here, come. This dark color rebar are your 16 diameter bar. So this dark color is your 16 diameter. So now what you need to do? Half 16 divided by 2. 16 divided by 2 is you need to add. Otherwise you can ask, you can add 1 diameter of the rebar. So it's a dark color is 16. Okay. You just add 16 to this number. You need to add 16 to this number. Okay. Plus 16 we have to do. In But here we will not get that answer because slight changes is happening but we'll do it according to that only plus 16 i'm doing so i'm getting 127 127.3 mm finish so your answer is ready 127.3 mm is your answer okay fine 
So a distance to find the stirrup, this will be one. I have to make this as one. And accordingly, I should get, yeah. See, 127 I'm getting. Here I'm getting 131. The reason being, it has taken 20 diameter. Not an issue. We'll take the 20 diameter out. Uh, Q17, isn't it? So I'll just input 16 here. And now I should get the same answer. See, we got 127 I got here. Same thing I got, 127. Cutting length also I'll do in front of you. So for cutting length, what I'll do? Cutting length will be 2 into, open the bracket, 127.3 plus this side, how much it is? This side, it is 230. So 230 minus 40 minus 40 and uh, minus uh, 8. It should be right. 142. Yeah. 142. See, 142 was here. Okay. I took that. This side I have taken. This is done. This I got 127. This is 142. Close the bracket. Plus 24 into diameter. Diameter is 8. Do it manually. You should get answer 730 is your cutting line. So 2 into 127.3 plus 142. 142. Plus 24 into 8. That's it. I'm getting 730.6 manually. I'll write 730.6 mm. I'm getting manually. And you look into the Excel sheet. What I've done. See? 730.6. If you want, you can reduce these numbers also. Yeah. Now it is okay. You can keep it as 7. Uh, uh, yeah. Now it should be okay. Chill. Fine. Got it. Done. So this is how you are supposed to do. So do it manually, then make Excel sheet in this way. Now again, don't ask me how to prepare an Excel sheet, something like this. By this time, you should have that much knowledge where you can prepare an Excel sheet similar to this. Okay. Uh, in spite of that, if you're not able to do, you can always get back to me. I'll explain you how this Excel sheet has to be done. Other than that, I think you should be in a position to prepare an Excel sheet, something like this. Okay, great. Yeah, so just remember these steps. These steps you write down and whenever you give any number of stirrup or any type of stirrup, if it is given, this is a method how you are supposed to find. Uh, so in the next lecture, I'll teach you how to calculate the cutting length for this kind of stirrup. Here we have three types. One is master ring. This is your main ring. This is your master ring. Okay. After that, you have this ring. We'll calculate the cutting length for this. Then we'll do the cutting length even for this. So this is a totally how much leg? Six leg stirrup. So this is two leg. If there is one hook, usually it is two leg, four leg and six leg stirrup will do. Right now, whatever I taught you, it is for four leg stirrup. This one hook is two leg. This is second. Okay. So it is four leg. See, whenever I say two leg, this is, this is called as leg. Okay. What is leg? This is not leg. These are hooks. But if there is one hook, it's, un it's understood that it's a two leg. So these are the leg. This is leg number one. This is leg number two. So it's called as two leg stirrup. Okay. Why it is called leg? The reason is that whenever the shear force comes, whenever the shear force comes, shear force comes in a beam, these are the people who are going to resist that. So we call it as a two leg stirrup. So this two leg will resist the shear force. So this is leg number one and this is leg number two. Right? Not this. This is not going to do anything. These are the leg which are going to resist the shear force. Great. So I hope you have enjoyed the lecture up to here. So try to, I'll give, if you want, I'll give you one assignment. We'll do it here only. Take uh, uh, this thing. What is that? Uh, uh, length as uh, 900 and take width as, uh, okay, 250. Anyhow, not required because this assignment will not work out. Okay. This assignment will not work. It will work out. Okay. You try to do and try to match the answer. Let me see. Uh, take diameter of stirrup as 8 and main bar and this, see, take all the diameter of the bar as 20 only. So in that case, uh, yeah, take this as an example and do it. So this answer I'll change now. So in some plus uh, this I'll do. Yeah, this answer you should get. 1178.67 is the answer what you're supposed to get. Try to do this. Length of the column is 900. Breadth is 300. Cover is 40. Dia is 8. Main bar. All the bars are 20 diameter. And you should find the cutting length of the master ring. And also this red color ring you're supposed to find. So red color cutting length answer will be this one. 1178 and your green color master ring answer will be 2240. Rest all the manual calculation what I thought answer is given here. Outer bar to outer bar. This distance should be from this bar center to this bar center. It has to be this one. Then spacing will be 1, 2, 3, 4. Spacing you have to consider 4. Take spacing as 4. Okay. Take spacing as 4. Okay. 
then once you do that once you consider spacing as four distance between this two bar this bar center to this bar center it will be 196 and distance to find yeah distance to find uh this you take it as two yeah you should get this answer try to do it if any doubt get back to me so i hope you have enjoyed my lecture up to here we'll see you back in the next lecture thank you